hello welcome back to my channel thank you again for the support for the love for the follows for the shares for the comments for the new subscribers welcome to my channel thank you thank you thank you i am back with another video so today's topic i want to talk about having the spirit of lack <laughs> Lack. We have all been the witness. We have all had some point in our life of had the spirit of lack. And not even realizing. Sometimes we just, you know, lack consciousness, lack mindset. So I want to talk about the having the spirit of lack. Having the spirit of lack can leave you in so many situations. It has led me in so many situations that I didn't even need to be in. It could be a relationship. It could be in my household. It could be in the finances. It could have been a career. It could have been led me to um depression it could lead me to just having a lack mindset of negativity of not feeling worthy of not feeling like i i deserve what i need in my life or just am i worthy to be loved you know or abandonment or just different trauma or childhood trauma that i have in my life just as well in your life we all at some point of our life nobody's perfect out here had had the spirit of lack and having a spirit of lack now does not equate to where say you have money because you can have billions of dollars you can be a billionaire you can be a multi-millionaire have all the riches gold you can have all the fancy cars the money your account you can hit the jackpot tomorrow and you can still carry the spirit of lack because it could have been your consciousness it could be in your heart it could be um how you uh the the lack of love the lack of compassion the lack of kindness all those are having the spirit of a lack mindset like i said we all at some point in our life have been in those situations but once you understand when you come into god when you start learning yourself when you start healing yourself because see once you once you heal yourself when you go through your journey not only when you become heal your family become healed you start breaking no generational curses you start breaking no bondage you start breaking no fear you start you start breaking those anxiety and depression attacks and when you can't sleep at night when things that start bothering you when you in your subconscious mind and you feel like you're not worthy enough when you break through those barriers when you start coming to god when you start loving yourself and having a positive mindset and um and manifestations to where in your purpose or your driven where you're supposed to be at that's when you you learn the provisions of God because with the provision of God God supplies all your needs everything that you need all the riches that you need it all starts within it all start with your heart it all start with your mind everything that you need you already have you could be dead broke poor on the outside but what does your heart say what does your mind say what where is your compassion where is your love how do you treat people how do you treat yourself what do you tell yourself do you listen to other people what what they tell you who you are or do you listen to what god says you are when you have the provision of God, the opposite of that is a lack mindset. Like I said, I've been in situations myself, my own personal journey. So I know exactly where that is at. If anybody's in that mindset right now, I have been there before plenty of times but when i start coming to myself when i start realizing who i am and the power that god gave me it's not about material things it's not about who got a big house or who got a designer bag it's all about my heart it's all about the inside of my intentions and my prayer and my love and know that i am just enough for who i am i don't have to change who i am for anybody that God already supplied everything I need. He already gave me the blueprint. He He give you the strategy. He give you the dominion. He give you the authority. He give you the birthright. He give you everything that you need to move forward, to press on, to break those generational curses, to break those bonds, to break everything that's in your way, that's hindrous in your life. Whether if it's the enemy, whether if it's your brother, your sister, or even yourself, he provided everything that you need. It's the provisions of God. It is the provisions of God. You lack nothing. You are enough. The person who shot at me Saturday, the person who trying to take my life, that person has the spirit of lack, of a lack mindset because he feel like he running from something. I was just a target. I was just somebody who was in the way. I was just somebody who he was just trying to get to next to get to where he was going because I didn't do anything to him. But I know somebody who come to kill and steal and destroy, that's the enemy. 
he has a lack mindset because he feels like he had enough to where he want to take a soul with him because they want to take souls. They want to take your spirits with you. But when God is over your life, when God show you the way, when you walk on that journey, when you walk in that path, when you start healing, when you start picking up those pieces, when you start writing and drawing and doing everything with those breaking crayons, when you start picking up the pieces of your life and be like, well, God, I'm going to use what I have left. I'm going to use what the authority and the dominion and life what you already gave me. When I already know that I am supplied with everything I need, when I am a witness of God. So I'm here today to tell you to push forward, to keep going, to keep loving God, to, 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 to come into him, to, to find him. Because I, I was out there. I was looking for things in the wrong places. I felt like I was missing something or I needed something over there or because they had a or lip. No, 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 no. It's, 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 it's what God wants me to have. It's the journey that I'm on right now that he wants me to be for my purpose, for me to minister, for me to for me to preach, for, for me to come forward and, and, and reach the people. Because see, that person who's trying to kill me, who's trying to take me out, who's trying to stop me, he was trying to stop this right here because, see, the devil know what God was getting ready to do in my life. All those enemies, the tag that you have on your life, just best believe, best believe the enemy know the good news. And he will kill, steal, and destroy 